So you're thinking about moving to Slidell, Louisiana, but maybe you have a couple hesitations before you make that big move, and here you are doing some online research. Well, you have clicked on the right video. I'm gonna take you on a Google Maps tour and show you the ins and outs of what Slidell is all about, and we're gonna get after it right now. Okay, before we jump on my computer, I just wanna quickly introduce myself if you are new to our channel. My name is Riley and my team and I have helped thousands and thousands of people just like you with their smooth move to places all over Louisiana. So if that's you, whether you are looking to move in nine days or 90 days, go ahead and shoot us a text, an email, you can give us a call or schedule a Zoom call with us and we would love to help you with your smooth move to our beautiful state. All right, now let's go ahead and jump on my computer. Okay, welcome to my computer screen. So first things first, let's talk about where Slidell even is and where it is in relation to other main important locations. And we'll talk about some distances and things like that. So let's get my pen handy. Slidell is going to be in this general area right here and it is con considered to be on the north shore of Lake Pontchartrain along with some other cities that we've covered in other videos including Mandeville here, Madisonville, and Covington. We have tons of other videos on those so if you're curious to learn a little bit more then go check those out after this. So New Orleans is down here and whether you are going to New Orleans on a daily basis for work, maybe you work in the CBD or you're going to eventually, or you just wanna go have dinner and drinks with your friends and family down in the French Quarter, whatever it may be, you're probably wondering how long it takes to get there from Slidell. So from the heart of Slidell, which is right about where I'm starting here, you're gonna hop on I-10 and it's going to take you down into the CBD and French Quarter area, which is where I just circled, generally speaking. And that takes about 35 minutes without too much traffic. And if I zoom in a little bit more for you, you'll see that I-10 does dip down a smidge and then it pops back up. And let's see, so we're gonna go down. And right over here, where I'm gonna stop in Kenner because this is where the airport is. So whether you're just curious or maybe you travel a lot for work or you're going to, or maybe you're just a travel junkie, <laughs> it takes about 45 minutes to get from the heart of Slidell to the New Orleans International Airport um, without too much traffic. So 45 minutes. If you're someone who likes to show up very early to the airport, then I would just count on it being an hour because you just, sometimes you never know. Sometimes there's an accident or something. Now, um, instead of other towns that we've talked about, like I said, we, in all of these other videos, we have said you need to cross Lake Pontchartrain to get to the North Shore to the South Shore. For, so from Mandeville area to Metairie and the downtown New Orleans area. Now, Slidell's a little bit different. You, like I said, you're gonna take Interstate 10, and this bridge is called the Twin Span Bridge. So that's what you're gonna be taking, and I believe it's about five miles long. Not 24 miles long like the Lake Pontchartrain Bridge, which is actually the longest bridge over water in the world, I think. So that's a fun fact for you. Now, one more, or let's see, two more distances I wanna mention before we hop onto the next thing is, let's circle slide out area again. To get to Baton Rouge, which I'm assuming that if you are curious about living in Slidell and that's kind of where you're leaning towards, then you probably won't have to go to Baton Rouge very often. Um, I'm hoping you won't work there if you choose to live in Slidell because you would have to hop on Interstate 12, whoops, and head on over. To get to the heart of Baton Rouge from Slidell, it's gonna take you an hour and a half without too much traffic. So, 
whether you have kids going to LSU, maybe that's a perfect distance. It, it gives you a little bit of space, right? But you're not all up in their business. <laughs> or maybe you have an important doctor's appointment or whatever the case may be. It takes an hour and a half without too much traffic one way. So if you need to get back in the same day, it's going to be a minimum of probably three hours of driving. Um, one more thing that I want to mention is that, let's see, from, like I said, the heart of Slidell area, so like right, right in, in like this general area, if you want to get to the border of, Basically, what I'm trying to say is Slidell is right on the border of Louisiana and Mississippi. So if you want to go enjoy a day in Bay St. Louis or Diamond Head, Pash Christian, one of these towns over in Mississippi, it only takes 20 minutes from the heart of Slidell to get to the border of Louisiana and Mississippi, which is Pearl River, and that takes 20 minutes. So if you want to go enjoy a day in Bay St. Louis with family, go enjoy the um, restaurant and shopping scene out there, it would take about a 45 minute, yeah, 40, 45 minute drive to get there. So really not bad. You are almost right on the border, which I think to go hop and see some of these other little towns in Mississippi, you leave the state and it's only a 20 minute hop across. I think that's pretty cool. Now, let's go ahead and zoom into Slidell a little bit more and figure out, you know, some main roads, what are some things to do on those main roads and other activities that you can enjoy if you live in Slidell. Okay, so the first section that I wanna focus on is going to be like the bottom portion of Slidell. And it's gonna be the portion that's closest to Lake Pontchartrain and also the first area that you enter when you are coming into Slidell from the New Orleans area. So if we zoom in a little bit, I want to kind of stick to the area below 433. <clears throat> Most of this is going to be communities that are on the water. So waterfront properties, there's also a handful of really good restaurants in this area as well. So if you zoom in a little bit, um, the first exit is going to drop you onto Oak Harbor Boulevard. On both sides of the interstate, you'll see that there are waterfront houses everywhere. I mean, if I zoom in close enough, you'll see all of these communities and neighborhoods are just packed with the most stunning homes that are on the water. So if that's something that you're interested in, and same with over here. If I zoom in, you'll see tons of homes on the water in this area of Slidell. A lot of people actually will move to Slidell to, to either be on the water or a lot closer to the water. And as well as Slidell is, compared to a lot of other cities around Slidell, Slidell is actually very affordable. So you get a bigger bang for your buck, typically, okay? And um, before I um, move away from this area, I would just like to mention there are a couple other areas like Pontchartrain Drive here. There's some homes along, Pon along Pontchartrain Drive. There's also some homes and communities off of Car Drive over here as well as this cute little beach. And if you come over here onto Lakeview Drive, Lakeview has um, homes as well and it'll lead you to the Blue Crab, which is a seafood restaurant, and they oftentimes will have live music there. They have an area where you can launch your boat, um, and it's right on the edge here of, you'll see Lake Pontchartrain. So maybe if you don't live in Eden Isles, but you just wanna go over there and you wanna grab a bite to eat and launch your boat, that's a great area to do it. And it's a great restaurant, fun atmosphere. And the same, kind of area, there's Phil's Marina Cafe, great seafood, as well as on the other side of the interstate, but also on the water is the Blind Tiger. The Blind Tiger has a small menu, but a great menu. There's a few Blind Tigers around Louisiana, and actually in Mississippi, there there might even be some in other states, but it's a, it's a fun little restaurant. And they will also have live music and games and things like that sometimes too. 
There is a really good restaurant here at Mittendorf's. They have the best catfish ever. So if you are a catfish or a seafood fan, you would like Mittendorf's. As you can tell, a lot of the restaurants in this area are gonna be seafood. But I will say, there is probably my favorite Italian restaurant located in this area off of Oak Harbor Boulevard. Let me find it, there it is, Joe's. If you like Joe's, or <laughs> if you like Italian food, you will love Joe's. It's the perfect environment, it's not too big, it's a mom and pop type of restaurant, and it is so good. Now, let's see. Pontchartrain Drive here is considered to be a main road of Slidell, so, Let's say you live in this area on the water and you need to go to the grocery store or something like that. You just hop on Pontchartrain Drive and it'll take you up. All of this on either side of Pontchartrain Drive are neighborhoods, but there are lots of businesses along the main road and fast food restaurants, regular restaurants, stuff like that. So Southside Cafe is a really good restaurant. Their menu is huge. And there's a neighborhood Walmart, there's a Winn-Dixie. Kenny Seafood has the best, you can go shopping for fresh seafood or you can actually eat there. So um, that's along, let's see, Highway 11 or Pontchartrain Drive. And let's see, before we jump into everything above 433, I would like to just touch on some, it, staying on the same note as homes that are on the water. On, <clears throat> off of Bayou Bonfica, there are also communities that are more, how should I say this? <clears throat> They're not any better or worse than the Eden Isles and other communities. They are just on man-made bayous um, and such. And if I zoom in, you can see there's homes all along this area, some on the water, some not on the water, of all various price points. So, if you enjoy water activities or living close to the water, I'm telling you, you will love Slide Out. Okay, now let's go ahead and hop kind of to the upper section of Slide Out and let's see what's going on up there. Okay, so kind of focusing on what is above 433 now. Um, first off, of course, there are some awesome neighborhoods all, I mean, everywhere, all up in here, throughout all of the different dining and shopping and things like that. So, great spaces to live within this area. Now, specifically, this area here is, and it might be actually a little bit wider than that, but is considered to be Old Town Slidell. Old Town Slidell has the cutest, it's a, it's a couple blocks of restaurants and bars, shopping, there's some hair salons and all sorts of stuff. Ice cream parlors. Let me zoom in for you and show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. So some of my favorite, personal favorite spots to go in Old Town would be the wine garden. I love the wine garden. They have a uh, great menu. The atmosphere is just my favorite though. I love the atmosphere of the wine garden over here. And they have a pizza. Oh my gosh, Old Town Pizza is so good. It's like that really thin sliced, or yeah, thin sliced crust, whatever. It's so good though. Um, tacos and Beer has, of course, the best tacos. If you go there, you have to try the fish tacos. Um, Brass Monkey is a bar, which is a very fun bar. Electric Avenue is also a bar. Those are just some, some of my favorite spots in this little area. And kind of the more, not hustle bustle, but the more lively area of Old Town, as you can see, is going to be like right in this kind of section. <laughs> it doesn't really spread out much more than that. Other than that, the majority of these other buildings, the majority are going to be homes in Old Town. And if you continue down Front Street, you are going to hit Heritage Park. Heritage Park is right along Bayou Bonfica, so you'll get the view of the water, but there's also some great walking trails and some a great huge um, kind of like play place for your kids to play and you to hang out if it's a nice day in the sun and just let them drain their energy <laughs> um, 
Now, if we hop on, hop on Fremo, Fremo Avenue will take us to the Fremo Town Center. The Fremo Town Center has so many great restaurants and shopping, of course. So just to name a few, there's TJ Maxx, Kohl's, Michael's, PetSmart, Kirkland's, Dick's Sporting Goods, Ulta, Best Buy. Some of the restaurants include Longhorn, The Lost Cajun, Five Guys, Cheddar's. Cheddar's is so good if you haven't been there. Panera, BJ's, Walk-Ons, there's a Starbucks over there, Red Robin, Chipotle, there's a Smoothie King Center, or there's a Smoothie, Smoothie King, <laughs> not Center, just Smoothie King. Um, Pizza Platoon, there's a really, this is our favorite Greek restaurant around town. Um, a sushi place, there's nail salons, all sorts of stuff. As you can see, Dillard's, Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret, there's tons of stuff and a really good gym. This, I think you used to call it Asporta Gym. Um, tons of great shopping in this area. Now, um, I do want to hop on another road, Gauz Boulevard, which also has crazy amounts of shopping and various businesses, fast food, things like that. And that is going to be, if you go one more exit down 10, you'll see here, I can even zoom in a little bit more, but there's a Texas Roadhouse and an Outback Steakhouse. There's um, some other different fast food restaurants, Raising Cane's, Sportsman's Warehouse. I know there's a grocery store over in this area too. Um, shopping center, I bet if I zoom in, it will show you a little bit more. I mean, this is just one little section of gauze, but this is, it's like this the whole way down. So, I mean, there's an Office Depot, Pet Center, Chick-fil-A, Baskin Robbins. Let's zoom out. I think on the other side, yeah, there's a hospital on the other side of Gauze Boulevard, which is great. There's another really good um, hospital, that's Oshner, but there's one more right here, Slidell Memorial. Another fantastic hospital in Slidell, so it's great to have hospitals so close to your area if you do choose to live here, just for that peace of mind. What else, what else can I touch on on, let's see, Gauz Boulevard here. There's another Smoothie King. Lots of different banks, Walgreens. Um, this shopping center over here has, yep, a Rouse's, Popeye's, um, more beauty stores, a wine house. So many different businesses on Gauze Boulevard. I'm telling you, if it's not on like the Fremo section, it'll be on Gauze Boulevard or Front Street. So if, if you choose to live over in like, over on the water over here, you don't necessarily need to go all the way to Gauze to go shopping. There's definitely shopping closer to home along Front Street and things like that. Um, now before I close out the video, I just want to touch on a couple more areas of neighborhoods and things like that, and then we'll wrap it up. Alrighty, so before we kind of wrap up this video, I do want to touch on some different neighborhoods that you can live in if you do choose to come to Slidell, which is where I live if I haven't mentioned that in this video already. I love Slidell. Slidell has not only all of those homes on the water that I was mentioning earlier, but if we kind of just come back to this area, actually let me zoom in just teensy. Okay. So Bayou Liberty Road is going to drop you off into tons of different neighborhoods all throughout this area, as well as all throughout this area, okay? All, the majority of these are going to be homes, but of course there are going to be businesses here and there. Now, this turns into, if you cross over the water, this turns into Thompson Road. Thompson Road also has different neighborhoods located throughout. There's a bayou called Bayou Paquette, and there are some homes located along there as well. I want to say it is down this way. So if you go down that way, there's going to be homes down there as well. If you do want to choose to live on the water, but maybe you want a little bit more space and you want some more land. If we kind of zoom in here, you'll see this is a cute little neighborhood and they all have the names of birds, all the streets. As you can see, Crane, Bluebird, Pelican, Robin, Jay, 
and this neighborhood is great for in my opinion the homes are a little bit smaller they're great for anywhere from like one person to a four person family and um i personally know a couple families who live over there or lived over there and really enjoyed it and there's a great school that's not really far from there either now let's see so we kind of covered this area now let's kind of hop back over let's see right in here yes robert boulevard area so robert boulevard is another main road of slidell and on both sides of robert robert boulevard there's going to be great homes available these homes will vary in all different at all different price points and if you're wanting um kind of along the lines of space like you want a little bit more land then there are really great options of homes that are going to be all along kind of this side of the interstate and in all of these different neighborhoods and if you want, I can zoom in a little bit so you can see actually what I'm talking about. Let's see. I want to take you guys like right over. Yeah, by Military Road. There are some really pretty homes over in this area. Big, small, not very much land, lots of land. So whatever you're looking for, Slidell has options. So as you can see, there's going to be, the homes are a little bit more spread out over here because a lot of the property sizes are bigger. Now, if you were to come over because you wanna live on the water over here, if I zoom in, you have the beautiful views of the water, but you have much less space. As you can see, the houses are much closer together. So, like I said, you have tons of options living in Slidell. And there is so much to do, not only with like the shopping and the great restaurants and things like that, but if you enjoy being close to New Orleans, only 30 to 40 minutes away, and but you want that kind of peaceful area, somewhere that's a little bit quieter, a little bit more, just there's, it's just more peaceful. I don't know how else, what a better way to describe that is off the top of my head. Um, but it's not necessarily a super small town. You still have tons of restaurants and like I said, businesses, whatever you need available, Slidell is a great option. And of course, if you love water activities, being close to the water, having good schools, everything like that, then Slidell is a really good option. It's beautiful. I personally live in one of the waterfront communities and I absolutely love it. After you're done working and doing everything that you need to do during the day to be able to come home and just have that, have your own space and your own zen and have the views and the sunsets and everything on the water, it is just my favorite. And like I said, it's really affordable out here. So I'm a little bit biased, can you tell? <laughs> All right, well that pretty much wraps up this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. And whether you, again, like I said in the beginning, are moving in nine days or you're moving in 90 days, please give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email or schedule a Zoom call with us. And we would love to help you with your smooth move to Slidell, to New Orleans or really anywhere in Louisiana. All right, well, let's roll with some footage that we got now of Slidell.